What's up guys, it's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. But first, like, subscribe, comment, algorithm, you know the drill, let's go. And this week, we don't have a specific influencer but I have been seeing many people asking me about berberine and their favorite fitness influencer comparing it to weight loss drugs like Ozempic. If we look at the research on berberine, which is a dietary supplement, if you start to get up to 100 to 500 milligrams per day, you can actually see changes in the gut microbiome, which, why is it with berberine, there's changes in the gut microbiome and everybody's like, oh, it's a positive change. But sucralose changes the gut microbiome and everybody flips out. Berberine has been shown to improve blood lipids and it actually seems to be decent for weight loss. There is some evidence that it appears to lower body weight by around two kilos on average, okay? That's not bad, that's great. May have an actual effect. It seems to be one supplement that may have an actual effect and seems to be healthy. And it does appear to elevate gut hormones like GLP-1, something that indicates satiety, that sort of thing. But unfortunately, people have taken this and gone, see, you don't need Ozempic. There's no reason for these weight loss drugs. Just take berberine. This is like comparing a pistol to a howitzer. All right, the average weight loss, the average weight loss in the human randomized control trials is like 10 to 15 kilograms of body weight compared to two kilograms for berberine. And when you're comparing it to a GLP-1 mimetic, just because berberine elevates GLP-1 doesn't put it on the same level as a GLP-1 mimetic. Why? Because GLP-1 itself is metabolized very quickly, is a very short half-life, on the average of a few minutes, I believe. Whereas things like semiglutide, which is Ozempic is the brand name, semiglutide is modified so that it mimics a GLP-1 in terms of how it acts, but it stays around in the body for a really long time. So it can continuously exert those effects. So comparing berberine to Ozempic or other weight loss drugs or as a substitution, listen, it may actually have some value as a weight loss aid, but it's not going to have nearly the same effect as these other weight loss drugs. Now, I am not suggesting people should use weight loss drugs. I'm not suggesting they shouldn't use berberine. I'm just saying the comparison is not valid. And my guess is if your favorite influencer is talking about it, it's because they're probably either sponsored by a supplement company or they sell it themselves. So please just keep that in mind when you're listening to these folks because they tend to do what's best for their pocketbook. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Hope you liked the video and I'll catch you next week.